Voy a estallar la gorda. Close my door, that is thing. Hey everyone, good evening, good evening, good evening. Happy Wednesday. Woo -woo. How are you guys doing? Um, all right, so per usual, before we get started, uh, my name is Melissa Jakes. I am CEO and founder of Rescue Event Planning, also known as Olivia Pope of Live Events. And we are here live Wednesdays, every Wednesday. This month, going into next month, is a little bit different because I'm doing my epic event management certification course. So we're starting at 8.30 versus 8 o'clock. I hope that's okay with you. But you know what? It would be okay with you if you were joined into the course. And so we'll talk about that a little bit later. So what I want you to do, per usual, invite and share, invite and share, and invite and share. Okay. So let's get this started. I'm going to find, I'm going to do my, um, what do we call it again? We call it our... Where am I? Watch party. Okay, perfect. So I know we're at a different time today, but that's okay, right? All right. So what I want to talk to you guys today about is um, we are talking about, uh, is it a good idea for your pets to uh, be in your wedding? Like, is that okay? Some people are pet lovers. Hey, Aaron, thanks for joining. Um, and some people aren't. So we're talking about, uh, is it a good idea to have your pet in your wedding? Okay. So, um, so again, before, if more people are joining on and before I get too deep, cause I'm doing a little bit something new for you guys. My name is Melissa Jake, CEO and founder of Rescue Event Planning, also known as Olivia Pope of Live Events. And we're here live every Wednesday. We go hashtag ask Melissa Wednesday, and it could be about anything with events, right? So I have a little special thing for you guys. I am going to share my screen. Okay, we're going to do this one. Yeah, we can see each other. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. And let me move this. So, and we're going to go to this and we're going to present. Yes, present from the beginning. Cool. All right. Let's just make sure everybody's able to see that. And awesome. Okay. So is it a good idea to have your pet in your wedding? Um, yes or no? Put it in the comments. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know what you guys think because I know um, some people are pet lovers. I have a dog. I've had a dog since I was um, 18 and she's been with me through college, through my master's, through my wedding, through my pregnancies, to my daughter loves Hazel. You hear her yelling at Hayes all the time, trying to tell her what to do. So I'm a pet lover. Um, and so I wanted to kind of know what you guys think about, you know, pets at weddings. Have you guys been to a wedding that had a pet? Uh, what did you think? What happened? All that stuff, right? So, okay, is it a good idea to have a, um, a pet at your wedding? So here's some pros, right? Some pros are um, you don't, need to secure outsource out to secure outside pet care 
Um, and this is a big thing, right? So before I used to utilize my mother <laughs> a lot, I had to pay for boarding, like to board my dog. And that is expensive. And you have to find the right place to really do that. Um, who really cares about pets and know about pets and won't really, you know, like treat your pet horrible while they're staying there. There are some things from high end to like dog hotels, high end, like 150, 200 a night to your boarding where it could be 25, 30 a night. Just know the difference. But the pros is if your dog is at your wedding or your animal, whichever animal's at your wedding, that you won't need to secure outside, outside, outside pet care. So that's a pro because your pet's with you. Okay. The other pro is um, you're in, from some, in for some beautiful, precious, um, unique pictures with your pet at your wedding, especially if it's an outdoor wedding. Um, and so that is that's definitely a pro. That might be something you've always thought of for your wedding day then there you go. You have those gorgeous, unique um, pictures. The other thing is um, you'll get to share your big day with your fur baby. <laughs> so you, if you don't know what a fur baby is, basically people who may not have children already, that's considered their baby. And my dog was my child for a while before I got married and then had children of my, well, a child of my own. Um, yeah, then that was my baby. That was my fur baby. So um, those are some pros. And some people feel separated, like, oh my gosh, you know, I've always had my dog involved in almost every activity I've done. So those are some, those are some pros there. Some cons are additional fees may be charged. So like boarding, do you want a dog hotel or maybe your friend's house for 15 bucks a night? I don't know. But there are pros and cons to that, right? Because is it, are they going to take care of your dog or your animal like you want them to? Um, you know, at the hotel, they're very liable, but you're paying a pretty penny for it. Um, the other thing is your venue may not allow it. So you have no other choice, right? Um, another con is the day of logistics, logistics can be complicated. That is my number one as an event planner. Oh boy, I got to deal with the dog and guests. How are we going to handle this? Who's the dog carer? Who's walking the dog down the aisle? Who's going to make sure the dog doesn't bark during the person's vows? Um, who's going to make sure the dog has the dog treats? Walk the dog, pick up the poop, um, <laughs> like all of that type of stuff. The logistics of having the dog at a wedding can get very complicated. Um, so that is in the second con. A third con is um, even a well-behaved pet can behave unpredictably, which is true because there's a lot of things happening where um, the dog is in, new, in a new environment and it's a lot of people, you know, if you're having about 75 to 100 people, that is a lot of people, is a lot of action and um, animals can pick up senses of energy. And so if it's too much excitement, they might start barking and irritate it. Like my dog is about 15 years old now and that would uh, just irritate her even with my nieces, with their, them trying to pet her and chase her, she gets irritated and, um, and don't want to like do anything. So yeah, you wanna make sure that um, that can happen to the most well-behaved dog, right? So those are some pros and um, those are some cons. So some ideas, let's say, you know, I'm gonna err on the side of caution that you can't have your dog at your wedding, but no worries. Let us show you uh, what you can do for your wedding, okay? So you can have personalized menus. Making um, menus like these um, offer newlyweds a uh, pet-inspired beverage where you're able to give a couple of bonus points for drink names where they're featured your durable pets and play on words, right? So you can have personalized menus, menus whether it's food menu or drink menus, personalize and incorporating the theme, you know, can be really cute, right? So that is definitely one idea. Um, the second one is a seating chart. Using um, your, your animal as a cartoon or actual, you can always do something like this on 
um, Canva or speaking to a, a graphic design artist or your invitation person, they can also do that as well. Where a pet seating chart is an easy way to incorp incorporate more than one pet in your wedding, you can use furry friends as table numbers as, mm, sorry, as well. So that is definitely another um, idea to incorporate your pet um, in your wedding, even though they're physically not there, they're visually there. And then a signature cocktail. So creating a signature cocktail in your pet in honor to serve up during your cocktail hour. And this couple used um, the name Miss Kitty, the Miss Kitty um, for the sip of their day and, um, and had a little picture of her and incorporating her so that she feels like she's there, right? And so you can still have fun with it. Like I'm gonna have the little Miss Kitty or you know, whatever um, is a great way to still incorporate your dog or your cat. Um, well, this will really be more your cat. You have to come up with a uh, play of words for your dog. Um, some people have horses too. Um, and that is a way to also incorporate horse by having a drink as well. Um, and then you can see over here, a dog of honor. If you are able to have your dog involved, then uh, that is a cute way uh, to do it, dog of honor. Doggy bags. So we already kind of use this word already. Like, are you going to take a doggy bag uh, uh, to go tray? You know, the words just kind of changed a bit, but a doggy bag. So uh, take the phrase doggy bag literally like uh, this couple did and they DIY'd it um, with a small paper favor with a picture of their dog on the front. Doggy bag, it has their dog and that's like around your sweets table. If you're going to have cookies, um, candies, you know, there you go. You can have your little doggy bag there and their dog is still incorporated. So it's pretty cool. It still incorporates them. It goes with it. Same thing with the table number. You can have a picture of your dog or multiple dogs if you have that or your friend's dogs incorporated as well um, with the table number um, across their, their, um, their next as a table number, table 23. So um, that's pretty um, cool as well. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing. So those are different ideas that you can have for, um, your, for your wedding if you are incorporating your dog um, in your wedding or your animal. It's not always gonna be a dog, but your animal um, in your wedding. So that is definitely a couple of um, ideas there. Um, Okay, so that is, um, those are some good ideas, right? So you're not limited to, oh no, my pet can't be in the wedding, but your pet actually can be in the wedding. Um, it's just, there's ways that you can incorporate your pet in different elements of the wedding that still makes it tasteful. Um, and then if you do have the pleasure of having your animal um, in your wedding, great. Um, and just making sure that your planner, like me, <laughs> we work on a greatly good logistics plan for um, where your pet will go. And there's always things to think about, right? Because I did have a client who really wanted to do this, but the venue just said no. And um, as we were planning it, it's like, okay, who from the wedding, um, either a, really not a wedding party um, person, but a guest member who can be... Um, responsible for the dog and take the dog back to your apartment. And though she was only about 10-ish minutes away from the venue, it still would mean that the guests would leave with the dog, take the dog to the apartment and come back. So automatically about 20 to 30 minutes away from the wedding and enjoying the experience of cocktail hour and the hors d'oeuvres and all of that. And so we didn't want to put somebody in that box. Now, there are services you can hire, um, almost like a dog sitter or a dog walker. You can definitely um, utilize those services and ask would they be willing to do something like that. Again, now we're talking about somebody you may not quite know entering into your house and dropping your pet off and making sure that they're good. 
but some people do that. Some services automatically do that all, already where they'll come and get the dog from the house. You let them in virtually or however it works is their lockbox with the key. And they, they take the dog for the walk and they take the dog back in to make sure there's water and food. And that service already kind of enters into your home. So you may be already comfortable with that. Um, and so that is also a service you can do as well. Definitely could do as well. All right, you guys, I hope this was helpful for those who are planning a wedding um, and wanting to incorporate their dog, cat, horse, bird, turtle, snake, <laughs> whatever, um, in, your, um, in your wedding. So um, I wanna make sure you guys know that um, I, the rescue event planning, we are here. We do all types of events, just not weddings, baby showers, conferences. And um, we currently now have a, a course called the Epic Event uh, Management Certification Course Training all together, all of that going on. And we had our first session tonight and it was awesome. It was great. And as we're diving in uh, more, don't feel like you can't join because the course already started. Guess what? There will be replays of the first session for you. So if you even join later on, no worries. You can join on today, tomorrow, um, Friday, Saturday, before our next session on um, next Wednesday, because you can always watch the replay. Now I will cut it off because as we get too far along, it's gonna be hard to catch up because we a lot of homework. I give homework. I already gave homework to our, our crew. They have homework to do for next Wednesday. And I, I also provide office hours so that they have the ability to talk to me throughout the week um, before our next session if they have questions about certain things, right? So um, what I am going to do um, since we are still allowing people to enter into the course is I am going to drop the link in um, our chat and I'm going to have to do it in multiple places. Uh, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to drop it in this chat. There you go. There is the course there. And then um, on my watch party, folks, I will put it there as well. Hopefully the comment went through, comment. Hey. Oh, okay. Well, okay, I will put it in virtually myself or manually versus virtually. No worries. But I want to make sure if you guys are truly still interested in the Epic um, e epic Event Management Certification course slash program that um, you send me a message and I'll give you the link right away. It is not too late to join. Um, probably after the second week, it'll be too late to join. Um, and then once the course takes off, it takes off because we move as a group and we want to make sure that we're moving together. So if you guys have questions about that for me, definitely send me a message and we'll post the link um, as well on um, Rescue Event Planning uh, Facebook page. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching this evening. It is hashtag Ask Melissa Wednesdays. And we're super excited to talk about that today of is a pet okay to be in your wedding? And we answer the questions. Yay. So thank you guys so much. Um, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye.